Marathi was the brainchild of the late Sanjay Gandhi who had been given the license to make a wholly indigenous car. However, the company languished and was unable to take off until after his death in 1980. A year later, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi gave the go-ahead for foreign collaboration for India's first affordable passenger vehicle. Talks were on with Volkswagen, but those fell through because the German company refused to commit to certain conditions on localization. That's when a Suzuki official travelling in India on business at the time heard of the project and jumped in. We met Mitsubishi and we met Suzuki and we met Nissan and all that. And because Suzuki was then a small company, we found that we were talking directly to the president of the company and the president was directly talking to us. That alliance turned out to be a win-win for both. Initially only assembled in India, local production started in 1983. Priced at 53,000 rupees, the car was affordable and easy to drive. At that time, everybody who could afford a car bought and drove. It doesn't matter about his wealth, status, position, society, nothing. The richest people in this country, the most powerful, thought it was a prestige symbol to have a Maruti 800. Mr. Ratan Tata has driven a Maruti 800. Arun Nehru used to drive a Maruti 800. Through the initial years, Maruti Suzuki had little advertising other than bookings and allotment announcements. It was only after opening up of the economy that other global manufacturers got a foothold in. And only then did Maruti actually need to advertise.